We're going to think about changing fractions to decimals on a calculator. And we're going to compare these three different calculators here. They're all Casio scientific calculators. The one on the left is slightly older. The one on the right is brand new, the latest model in the shops at the moment. But before we go to look at the calculators, just let's just do a little sum. Two thirds. Let's do that without a calculator first and change it to a decimal. So two thirds means how many threes are there in two? Okay, so threes don't go into two, it's zero point something. Threes into twenty go six. And because three sixes are eighteen, we've got a remainder of two. So now we've got threes into twenty again, which go six remainder two put a zero threes into twenty go six remainder two and so that will continue so we say that two thirds is 0 0.6 recurring we can write that like this we put a dot above the six to show that it recurs it goes on forever Let's see how these three calculators handle this sum. Here's the first one, the oldest one. It's got an ABC button. That's the fraction button. So to enter two thirds in this, we go two, ABC, three. Press equals, and that's how it represents the two thirds. If we press the ABC button again, it changed it to a decimal for us. So that tells us the answer. 0.6666666 Let's try the next calculator. Okay, um, this one hasn't got a, an ABC button. It's got a fraction button. There we go. There's a the fraction button. So let's enter two thirds. To two. Press the fraction button first. Two at the top, go down, three. So that's two thirds. If we press now the SD button, sorry, press the equals, press the SD button, that will tell us the answer, which is slightly different from the first calculator. It's got a seven on the end. Okay, so it's rounded it to those ten figures. Let's try the third one. This is the most up-to-date calculator that you can find in the shops at the moment. Again, it's got a fraction button here. That one. So I'm going to enter two thirds on it. So we press fraction, two, down arrow, three. And it's displaying two thirds. Press equals, and we get two thirds. I now press the SD button, that gives us a different answer again. That tells us 0 0.6 with a dot above it. Okay, so it's only technically this last calculator that has got the sum exactly right, because the right answer is 0 0.6 recurring. The first calculator, let's put, put 0 0.6666, like that. It's not rounded the last figure up to a seven. The second figure has rounded the last figure up to a seven. But as you can see, that's not completely right because the correct answer is 0 0.6 recurring. Let's try another one like that. We'll try one seventh. So one seventh means how many sevens are there in one? So seven's not going to one. That was zero. Put a zero down. Sevens into ten go once. And there's three left over. Sevens into thirty, so that goes four times. Four sevens are twenty-eight. So we've got two left over. Sevens into twenty. So that just goes two. Two sevens are fourteen. So we've got six left over. How many sevens in 60? 
So that goes 8, since it goes 8, 7 to 56. 4 left over. Hope soon you begin to see a, begin to see a pattern. How many 7s in 40? That goes 5. With 5 left over. How many 7s in 50? Well that goes 7. So you've got 7 7s, 49. And we've got 1 left over. 7s into 10, we've been here before, haven't we? 7s into 10 just go once. So we can see now that number is going to keep repeating itself. It's 0 0.142857. 142857. 142857. So we can use the recurring symbols between the figures that recur. We can put a dot above the 1 and the 7. So that shows that the pattern continues 142857, 142857. Let's see how our three calculators handle that. So we're going to do 1 7 on this calculator. So 1 ABC 7 is 1 7. Press the ABC button again to change it to a decimal. And we get that. 142857142. Let's try the next one. We press the fraction button. One at the top, go down, seven at the bottom. SD to change it to a fraction, I mean to a decimal. And there we have 142857, 1429, because it's rounded the last figure up. And then our last calculator. Let's try this one. I'm going to press the fraction button. And then one at the top, arrow down, seven at the bottom, equals one seventh. And press SD. And there we have it. That's the same answer as I got with pencil and paper. I hope you can see that 0 0.142857 with the dots above the 1 and the 7. So that means that that part of the answer keeps repeating.